Visit the other rundown of our reality channels on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey for content that YouTube won't publish. Videos like Medbeds, Quantum Entanglement, and your digital copy, or The Ritual Sacrifice of Matthew and Johnny Goudreau. The links are in the description. Oh, anyone else want to say something to that? Or, Well, what a, I first said <clears throat> things about the Mark of the Beast. What exactly is it, in your opinion? Because I've Oh, I forgot the about the Mark of the, talking about the Mark of the Beast. Yeah, because... Uh, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Elon... I went down the, uh, remember when the guy named posted the X-22 report Q stuff? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so those who don't know, there's this, there's this guy who friended me, uh, probably 2021. And I think it was through, um, God in a Nutshell project. Trace me. Uh, so it was through that anyway so he he friended me there and i was still working on figuring out what's going on because as, as you guys are aware uh they got got a nutshell that guy he is he won't admit it but he's a q follower because he believes he's following kim clement but kim clement is basically following was it is a false prophet for the q deception he's listen. he's he was a diviner not a he was once a good uh minister a good pastor prophets or i can't remember if he cast out demons but he's a prophet who once was a good prophet but then he went to uh, um, uh the united states to hollywood and he got bolstered up and turned into you know what hollywood turns you into um so he died of cancer and god god took him uh, this is through Celestial. I posted a video on it, or an audio clip, excuse me, uh, or shared it with the group, but for Matthew specifically. And uh, uh, anyway, X-22 report is a, it, it's part of the Q deception. He has it right there, Q drops uh, on a tab on his website. So obviously somebody you really shouldn't be listening to at all. Um, now, X, this is this is what I found just going to this website. You know what happens, what X is, right? It's it's one eye symbolism for the Mason, uh, for the Freemason um, square and compass. Everybody knows that here. If you don't, um, you could scroll up and there's an image that I posted of the X symbol. So you take the the X symbol for what used to be Twitter, that X symbol, you duplicate it and reverse it, it and then put it together and it creates the Masonic symbol, right? That's Elon Musk. So X22 report has the same X, same kind of, not the exact same X, excuse me, as in font, but it has a thick side and a thin side that creates that, mas that same Masonic um, square and compass. Now, X, right? So that that when when they do that, or, or when the website X, when they use that symbol, the way they're using it, it's one eye sim, uh, symbolism, and showing the 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 square and compass. Now, let me go down to my notes here. Sorry, I was picking my um, tomatoes. Pardon me. Let me rephrase that. I think this is really fascinating. <laughs> There are many videos that expose the symbolism that, that uh, those in the occult use. There is a folder in the library that breaks it all down for you in detail called Freemason Tutorials. What I'm going to show you is the extension of the symbolism, is an extension of the symbolism today, how, we, how even after much exposure of the symbolism, people who don't do their own research but parrot others fall into the traps of these deceivers. For example, just because one uses the name Jesus does not mean that uh, does not mean that uh, they are not there to deceive you. I need to reword that. Uh, um, oh, like uh, like the kosher pig, right? Like when they say Yeshua, they're referring to Metatron. And then Sorry? like there's a there's a book called the Kosher Pig. Uh, when oh, oh yeah, yeah, Secret Words, yeah, 
Yeah, like so when they say used, Yeshua, yeah. they're used referring to Metatron, which is Lucifer. And then yeah. sometimes when people are talking about Jesus, they're talking about the Antichrist, like the Freemasons. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay, so there are, are black Masons who are being exposed constantly, but the other side of the coin are the white Masons. These are the deceivers who are still hiding and are also in need of exposing. So let's start. There is an app but most phone, uh, on most phones that exists in plain sight. I'm just reading what I wrote here. I guess you guys probably can tell. Uh, exists in plain sight that is telling you that they, that they are evil and part of the end times plan. Many believe because the owner exposes some of the darkness that he is a force for good. And he is there to restore the United States of America. So let's take a look at his symbolism. And then that's where I insert the X from the X app. Here we have a symbol X. X has been used in literature to mark where a point of interest exists or where wealth would be such as buried treasure hence x marks the spot x marks the spot was made common a common theme in robert louis stevenson's treasure island which was published in 1883 robert louis stevenson is also a freemason is also a Freemason. So when you look at X, at the X, how can you use such a letter today and see uh, Freemasonry? It's really quite simple. Uh, the X is one eye symbolism and the Masonic crest. Uh, X is the symbol of the Mason. Now that you know this, you can start to see the plans made in the past for our future. There's X Corp, X Sports. I went and I took a picture of all the X uh, corporations and companies. There, there are so many of them. It's unreal. Uh, and you can look at all these registered companies. Uh, and what about the uh, the Truther Network? There are many Masons hiding in plain sight. There is a very popular Truther called X22 Report. We know what the X means, but what does 22 mean in the cult? The number 22 is represented by a cube or square and the 22 paths in the Kabbalistic Tree of Light. Do you know anyone who, who is getting their information from this Mason? If you do, you should send them this video as he is controlled opposition. After listening to X-22 Report, uh, what X-22 Report talks about, you can listen to others in his circle and those who parrot what he says and, and you can treat them with the same disdain. <laughs> oh, it must have been a little upset when I wrote this. These people have selected their master, and if you pray for them, only pray that they repent. If God accepts the true repentance, that, uh, then that is his ruling. But if God has already judged them because of what they've done in their life, it is important not to pray against the Holy Spirit as an intercessor. So I've been doing that a lot lately, is reminding people don't just do intercessory prayer, but just, re just pray to um, that they repent. Right, or that they wake up their mind, I guess, in the end times, that their, their mind gets gets woken. But they have to do it themselves. So what I then did was I went through X2, uh, X-22 report. There's a, uh, I go through the definitions earlier. One of the definitions that I use is called synergy, right? So corporations use a synergy tactic to grow brands and to, if you want to create a new brand, you use a... Um, an already made brand to legitimize another brand, right? That's, that's called synergy. A lot of people like in the podcast community would work together and interview each other to grow their audiences. So synergy is uh, a tactic that is very close to the weapon of choice and weapon of choice is just, you have so many choices to make. Um, anything could be the truth. Anything could be what you want. That's, that's using choice as a weapon. And synergy tactic gives people the illusion of legitimacy. And uh, and so I went through the X-22 report website and I looked into uh, some, of, uh, some of his news reports and I just looked at who he's sharing with this synergistic relationship uh, that, that he is exposing, right? So when you do that, uh, I found, you know, he gets, he uses Truth Social, Trump, uh, Trump war room, 
the Kobesi letter for financial stuff. Charlie Kirk, whose father um, was in charge of building the Trump Tower. A guy named DC Drano. And then Elon Musk was used a lot. Disclose Report, End Wokeness, Gateway Pundit. Um, Patriots are in control. Another one that... So these are people that he's constantly sharing, right? And so these people are all sharing the same narrative. And so you know, because of the synergistic relationship, that they are also part of the... Uh, the cult, the these these Masonic cults, either in complete practice or in uh, some sort of paid format, like Charlie Kirk, uh, who was a pretty much a nobody, had no money. He uh, is now worth like reports vary between twelve to thirty million dollars, and he runs a nonprofit. So when you see the term "not not for profit," um, that is a money, most likely a money laundering business, especially when they're tied with political structures. Not for profit does not mean um, it, it, it. It is very much government organized or uh, or linked to government. For example, the Clintons have their found the Clinton Foundation, which is a not for not for profit, and. W- the reason why they do that is because they can hide money within it. It's it's an easy way to launder money because you don't have to report everything in a not-for-profit. So Charlie Kirk is getting all this money working for this in this not-for-profit organization, writing books, right? And when you write books, what? And and you're in the Masonic, you're getting rewarded for uh, doing things you're supposed to be doing, anyway. So yeah, that's, that's just like, these guys that like you know Seth that has uh, what you call it. There's Seth, the guy with Man of America. Is he kind of like a guy that's working for the so-called White Hats undercover? Because I, seems... I don't know. I don't know who who you're talking about. Sorry. Okay, so he's kind of like a guy that's been around for a while and talking about all sorts of stuff. Like, do you get do you get these guys that so-called truthers? Just mm-hmm. makes me feel sometimes because they got the law, like with the Illuminati. Don't they have to give you the truth? They have to. Yeah, tell they, you the they truth, tell you right? what to report. But I mean, the yeah, people, the... their laws, like they have to tell you the truth somehow, and if you don't see it, then oh. that's on you, right? Revelation of the method. Yes, that's what that's called. So that's kind of like I wonder if some of these guys are plants for the Illuminati. They're giving you the truth, yeah. but they're also questioning it. You know, that's just what goes through Absolutely. my mind. Char- that's yeah, that's Charlie Kirk. That's what I'm explaining. Charlie Kirk is. Okay, okay. I'm a little bit out on that, so I, I wasn't sure what what that was, but yeah, right. Interest. Yeah. So I go through at the beginning of this script. I go through a bunch of definitions or tactics that uh, that these secret societies use to brainwash the masses, right, to get them to believe whatever they say, and uh, and then you use these tactics when you go over these websites, and so you can see exactly this is how you find out if people are legitimate or not right if they're if they're actually going to be truthers so like then you'd look at candace owens and you'd look at jordan peterson and uh the jewish guy lawyer ben what's Shapiro. his name ben Shapiro. you're like on it with the names Lindsay. awesome yeah. i'm a stay-at-home mom to five i just put my earbuds in and i listen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so those guys are all the same thing. They're they're all controlled. Uh, also, I think Candace Owens is a man, but uh, that's beside the point. But but they they all rose at the same time over the same subject matter, and uh, started doing the same type of tours. They're like their rise to fame. They're all synergistic. It was all, um, and their job was to reveal. The, that whole gender stuff, right? And safe, safe spaces and colleges, and but they they brought they brought transgenderism to mainstream to to the to Christians. They brought transgenderism to the Christians. Brought transgenderism genderism to the uh, to the right 
side of uh, of um, the dualistic nation because it really wasn't that prominent back then. But now it's everywhere. That was their job. Their job wasn't to stop it. It was to let you know of it and start arguing about it so it could become more uh, predominant, more uh, vogue or on vogue or whatever it is, chic. Paul asked a question um, about the mark. So, oh, right. You asked that and then I went into that whole X thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. Yeah, I don't know if it actually had to do with anything. I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm just very confused about it because I've heard several things. I mean, there's today. also Eco Brio. So, this is what's happening right now in China. There is, and I got this from uh, my neighbors last night. Right now in China, uh, there is an app where you pay everything. You chat through it. You pay your bank. You do your banking. Everything WeChat. is done. Is that WeChat? Yeah, it's WeChat. Yeah. And in uh, uh, um, and right now, Elon is working on the same type of thing. So to bring everybody in, but I don't think that's going to come out until um, the, the crash, right? So when they bring in the new monetary system, it will be government controlled, all that sort of stuff. Now, um, the B system is based, that's basically the B system. So everything is going to be controlled under one AI controlled quantum uh, security technological thing, right? So when it comes time for the march, when it becomes that time, uh, then um, everything, that's the day everything is finally in place. So the march, I think, is an X, just like Elon's X. Elon wants to call almost all of his stuff, except for like Tesla, a few things. But if you look at the companies he wants or the ones that he wants to buy or give suggested names for, it's always X. So that's why when I went through all those companies, there's so many companies named X. Because X is a hidden Masonic sim symbolism. And X marks the spot. And X marks the spot. Uh, so the mark will be an X on the hand or on the forehead well you're only gonna you're you will know it's the mark you'll could know it happen could it happen they do it on your doppelganger and through quantum no 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 because the mark is your decision that's what okay. makes it different this Isn't thing it? that we're gonna get uh during the marburg epidemic um that is going to be forced upon us and then, and because it's forced upon us, then we will, those who will turn to God for healing, right? Those, and those who don't will fall, fall to, and succumb to plague. So, um, but in the end times, when the end times come, there's specific instructions. So if we're still alive, I'm by no means thinking, you know, I'm absolutely going to be alive. Um, uh, only, only God knows the future. Uh, actually, the only other one is Celestial, because she said she will see all her prophecies come true. It, it looks to be like an X. If I can ask a question on that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just through deduction, man. That's, no, I could be wrong. No, no, that's fine. Two things come to mind. Um, the Bible says um, it will be the number of His name. I think it's Revelation 13, and yeah. then. And then if I heard a, it's like a, probably an 80s or a 90s message of a guy that did, uh, he was on the team designing the RFID chip and he didn't even really know what he was doing, but he was designing it. So whether that's the actual part, um, cause won't they burst out in sores? I think it says somewhere in scripture. So I wonder maybe is that the battery exploding? Is it a chip or is it an app? Uh, it'll be nanotech. Okay, but I mean, you're gonna, it'll take the right hand or the forehead, right? Yeah. So, 
when I remember the guy talking about when he was designing the ship, he was saying they got a team of like doctors or health experts and they needed a place in the body, if I'm correct, where he said that was the most blood flow for that and it was the right hand or the forehead. So would that be smart to rule out that it would be an RFID chip? I, it won't be an RFID Maybe. chip. You don't think it's so? Bit. No, no, no. It'll be okay. all nanotech, man. It'll be all nanotech. Okay. So, but it, would, it, would it be on the right hand or the forehead, or do you think that's symbology? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, if that's what it says in prophecy, uh, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But the, the mark, right? So the X is uh, the Masonic symbol. The Masonic symbol is also 666. Okay. I believe. Hold on, I believe. I, I have to go back to. It. Let me let me look that up. But uh, I I believe that that the square and compass. Yeah, I guess basically at that point, it's going to be like any questions of it being something or the other would be eliminated. This is exactly what... exactly. Yeah, yeah. There is no yeah, yeah. There's no illusions whatsoever. Those those who are. Uh, the remnant will, will obviously know, and then those will wake who will wake up. I think because of that, there will be people. There will be a mass awakening. 